Can Christians lose their salvation? When you believe in Jesus by faith, we all know you are saved and have eternal life. But I believe it's still possible to give away their salvation on purpose. Here till the end of this video, why that is possible. You see, most believers think that salvation cannot be taken away from you because of this verse that read from John chapter 10 that says, I give them eternal life and they shall not perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. You see, Jesus was actually talking to the Jews, not Christian, who do not believe in him and doubt what he does. And here's what he has to say about those people who want to follow Jesus. He says, I did tell you, but you don't want to believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listens to my voice. I know them and they follow me. John chapter 10. So to be a follower of Jesus, it doesn't mean you just need to say something, you believe it, that's it. You don't need to say it, you need to listen to Jesus' teaching and follow them in action, just like what Jesus does, so that you will be more and more like Jesus every single day. And therefore, if you follow and put into action, your lifestyle will change. You will be more thankful every day for the things around you. You will learn to love others more than yourself. You'll be less selfish. You'll be guilty whenever you sin against God because you know He's looking and you love Him. And if you claim to be Christian today, it actually meant something. You actually must follow and do what the Bible says and bear good fruits. You see, most Christians claim to just believe in faith and they will be saved without any responsibility to follow what the Bible says into action. But your belief will not be shown to God to be sincere if it does not put into action in your daily living in Christ. For God looks at your heart. By their fruits also, you will recognize if they are Christians from Matthew 7.20. Just like how you identify a tree by its fruit. Let's say you see a tree and you see some durian on it, you know that's a durian tree. Then that's the same for people. You identify people based on their actions. If your action doesn't match like Jesus, did they even actually believe Jesus at the first place? You see people complaining, hey, this person Christian, man, <laughs> because their actions doesn't show that they are Christians. So Christians all want eternal life, but many Christians also want to live however they want without changing their old sinful habits or lifestyle. The truth is, it doesn't work that way, my friend. So, can you lose your salvation? I believe you cannot, but I do believe you can purposely return it the moment you say yes. <laughs> you can give it back to God anytime you want. And there are people, sadly, who do that, especially Christians who don't want to go to heaven or don't want to follow Jesus' teaching. There are people like that. And when you realize everything that Jesus asks of you to follow, for example, not to gamble, not to be rude, right? and you go against those teaching that you desire to do more and more, <laughs> All right, you can actually make mistakes. I'm not saying you can't. And you, I'm not saying you cannot follow any of Jesus' teaching. It's good to follow them. But the big difference is this. You are constantly working towards getting closer and closer to behave like Jesus and to follow like Jesus and to repent daily too. Yes, you will still sin, but you will also repent too. You see, many Christians believe in a lie that they can purposely continue to live in sin, but not change their lifestyle and still have eternal life just because they believe in Jesus. Well, the devil also believe in Jesus. Does he go to heaven? Obviously not. So what makes you any different? Think about that. So I pray today you will pick up your Bible today. Start taking your belief in Jesus seriously and repent and obey the things that Jesus has taught you. 
as long as you have this constant guilt, which is a good guilt, with the need to repent and want to always stay close to Jesus, you will be always be safe and have eternal life. But if you don't put into action what Jesus teaches you and deliberately choose to ignore him or even worse, curse God, which you, I do see some do, God still loves you and will let you be how you want to be. But I want to warn you, one day you will face God's judgment, which you can read in Romans chapter 1 and 2. And it's scary, I tell you. Go and read it. So I pray you will repent from your deeds and want to always grow closer and closer to Jesus. Amen? Comment Amen if you believe and share this video and also grow and follow us together in this channel. God bless.